how do you know if you have a rare Sacagawea dollar? In this video, I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know to make sure you aren't missing any rare Sacagawea dollar worth potentially thousands of dollars. Welcome back to Old Money Prices. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn more about rare coins and paper money, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Let's jump right into the video. Up first, we have a 2000S $1 Sacagawea graded by PCGS, a proof like 70 deep cameo. If you're new, the highest grade you can get in grading is 70. This also has a proof like appearance to it. You can tell the backdrop of the coin will have a mirror-like appearance. So if your Sacagawea dollar looks like this, keep it safe because you could have a proof coin worth a lot of money. This $1 sold for $417. Up next, we have a 2000 P Sacagawea $1. This is from the Philadelphia Mint. You can see the P Mint mark under the year there. This has a double struck flip over in collar graded by NGC and Mint State 64. So do you see the error there? You can see the strike through happening on the coin there. If your Sacagawea dollar has anything that looks like this, you could have a coin worth a lot of money. This coin sold for $1,320. Again, just very quickly, this is an obverse die capped coin. This is not damage. If your Sacagawea dollar looks like this, it could be worth tons of money. This coin sold for $5,875. Here's a 2000P Sacagawea $1 graded by PCGSA Mint State 67. Now back in the early 2000s, these coins were available in Cheerio boxes and today they're worth a lot of money, especially in the high grade. This coin sold for $5,875. Beautiful looking coin. Here's a 2000p $1 Cheerios Sacagawea dollar graded by PCGS a mint state 68. Sometimes the appearance of the coin alone will increase the value so it's not only the grade but this one just looks a lot more shiny and brilliant which will increase the value of the coin. Also market conditions when you sell your coin really matters. Right now we're in a height of a market it's a good time to sell if you find a good deal on selling your coin make sure you don't get scammed or ripped off. I recommend getting your coins evaluated by at least three people preferably coin shops or some sort of expert. I offer a service on my channel. You can hit the join button, send me photos. You can cancel at any time, but you don't even have to do that. I'd go to three different coin shops or some sort of experts and get your coins appraised. If they all say the same thing, then chances are they're not lying to you. They're not trying to rip you off. Avoid going to pawn shops. Most of the time, pawn shops, they either don't know what to look for or they just offer you a very low amount of money for your collection. But this $1 Sacagawea coin sold for $13,800. So on the back of the coin, on this one looks like a normal 2000p $1 Sacagawea dollar and that is completely fine. It's completely normal. But what made this coin so rare is that it is a Washington State Hood quarter mule error. So if you flip the coin over, it looks like a quarter. That's phenomenal. And it shows in the price tag that it brought in auction sale. This one was graded by NGC, a mint state, 67. This $1 Sacagawea that is a mint error with a Washington Statehood quarter sold for $120,000. Hit that subscribe button. It really does help out with the YouTube algorithm. Stay tuned for more and I'll see you in the next video.